Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to do this quick Sephora haul along with some Bath and Body Works stuff and for, you know, this hasn't happened for a very long time. I'm actually going to do a short haul. I picked up a lot of stuff from Sephora. I kind of went cray cray because, um, I don't know, I was like, I don't really shop at Sephora. I usually just go for certain, you know, brands online and not really cater to just going to going to Sephora and going crazy so I got a lot of foundation and concealer that I really want to try out so let's do that so I'm going to talk about what I have on my face first because I'm really loving it um I have a demo up well I'm gonna I did a demo I don't know if it's gonna go up before this haul but um, I'm going to first talk about Too Faced Born This Way. I got the foundation and concealer in Chestnut and um, the concealer in Deep Tan. Deep Tan is kind of like a highlighting color for me. Deep Tan was a good match for me. It's kind of almost neutral. Up, I redeemed my birthday gift at Sephora. I just picked up, um, what is this? Basically a face cleanser and I'm starting to get into high end, you know, skincare because I really need do need to take care of my skin better. So this is the sample. Fresh. It's a soy um, face cleanser and it comes with a rose face mask which is in the bottom of the packaging. Then I picked up Murad because I watched uh, Makeup by Shayla and she was talking about her skincare routine because that girl has immaculate skin like what? So I was like, let me try, let me dish out the dough. Because I do dish out a lot of money for makeup. I should at least care enough to spend some money on some good, you know, skincare. So this is Murad Clarifying Cleanser. Um, basically it's for acne. Um, it says it treats and prevents acne breakouts with time-release medication that remains active for hours even after rinsing. Well, that's, that's, that's incredible. I used it like twice, you probably could tell. Um, yeah, it gives like a really nice, refreshing you know, feeling after you wash your face. And then I have a Bobby Brown Pro card, but I just, I never bought anything from Bobby Brown yet. So I was like, let me get the travel size of the Mini Shimmer Brick Compact. I got the color bronze, and I think this was like 20 bucks, I think. Can't wait to try that out. I have not used any of their Shimmer Bricks. Then I got, oh, this shit was expensive, but I so needed it, because I had a lot of dark spots in my face. Um, this is the Murad Rapid Age Spot in Pigment Lightning Serum. Um, when I was speaking with one of the um, workers at Sephora, they were like, yeah, you have to use this every other three months because uh, it has 2% hydroquinone skin lightener. So it helps prevent the development of new pigmentation. So 85% soft spots lightening in just one week. Okay, let me see because I did, I did just start using this. I used it twice already. Yeah, so this was 60 bucks. Dude, okay. The actual packaging. Um, how much is in here? This is one fluid ounce. Now for Kat Von D, I finally started using her products. This is my first time purchasing her stuff. Um, so this is Kat Von D Locket Foundation. I think this is the new packaging. I could be wrong. This is in the shade Deep 71. I was going in between Deep 71 and Warm Deep 71. Um, but when I was looking at it, I was like, okay, let me get this one. Because this, this foundation is no joke. This, is, has, this has high pigmentation. Like, you can't just blend foundation and be like, oh, let me just blend it out. It's going to blend into my skin nicely. No, this covers everything. Your whole face is going to look like a mask. And that's fine because, you, you know, you contour and add more stuff to your face. But this shit has to be ex basically exact in my opinion. So I got Deep 71 and I'm, I'm yet to do a tutorial with this. I will, um, but it looks close enough, doesn't it? And I got a concealer. Actually, Kat Von D has a great selection for um, a woman of color with their concealers because I was like, I was caught between like three concealers. I didn't know which one to get. I was gonna get D35 and D31. I think D31 was too light. I think so. But anyway, I got D33 Warm as my under eye concealer girl I can't wait I will do a demo with this I love the packaging it is sick look at that this is the new packaging I got one thing that everybody everybody has because you know it's a popular lipstick 
I picked up Alita, which is kind of the colors I like. Like right now I'm use I'm wearing like a mixture of two lips. It is so gorgeous. Like it will go with this. I really overlined my lips today, but I need to speed this up. I'm heading to an Adele concert in a few hours. But um yeah, so finally, at least this is the second time I'm buying something from a YouTuber, a collab with a YouTuber, because I got the Slayla lashes, no, I Slay lashes from Michael Shayla, which are beautiful, I'm yet to wear them, um, but I am wearing Flutter lashes right now. Um, so this is Jaclyn Hill uh, Split Pan, the highlight and the blush. I got uh, Prosecco Pop and Pample Mousse, which seems to be... A really good highlighter for women of color and a good selection for a blush because it has high pigment um, it's it's like really deep in color and um, very rich and I believe it will it, it will most definitely show up my skin tone and I heard great things about Becca blushes I have not yet to try it and I did want Prosecco pop and that was the whole reason I went to Sephora and I you know I picked one thing and you know what happens you pick a whole bunch of stuff um, so I this is how it looks so this is um, two shades. The reason why I got this because it's really travel friendly. Like you got a blush and you got a highlight. Cause I usually I don't give a crap. Like I could be going somewhere for two days and I'll still get take my huge ass Anastasia Glow Kit four pan highlighter with me. Um, because you never know. You probably feel like I want to look bronzy today with my highlight. I want to look high yellow, you know, bronze with my highlight. You know, you can pick whatever you want with that palette. Um, I really love that palette. So I can't wait to try, the, try this. I'm good, definitely going to take this with me and probably my huge ass palette as well when I do travel at the end of the year. But this is really travel friendly and that's why I got it. Um, this shit was the most expensive foundation I ever got in life. Like, what? Come again? This is the Hourglass um, Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Stick in Almond. And I've been trying to find someone who has a video on this foundation in this shade. I cannot find anything. Because I looked at, they have like three different kinds of almond. They have warm almond and I think cool almond, something like that. Warm and then some other kind of almond. But those are girls who are lighter than me. So I looked at almond and almond looked like a perfect fit for me. And even the guy so far was like, do you need any help? I was like, no. But he's like, oh, I think almond will work for you. And I'm like, okay, yes. So I swatched pretty much everything and I, got, I took almond home and definitely will be doing a video on that. So stay tuned for that. And then I went to Bloomingdale's and got some samples. This is the Kiehl's Blue Herbal Gel Cleanser. I got two of those. Sephora gave me a sample because I spent about like 400 plus on makeup that day. I know it's, it's crazy. Yeah. That might as well have been my eye mask shopping for the year. <laughs> um, so um, I got this lipstick which is a really lovely bright red. And I might even get this in full size because like look at this color. It is like the red I always go for. Look how beautiful and vibrant that was. Then I got more samples from Bloomingdale's. This is Kiehl's Ultra Facial Oil Clean Oil Free Cleanser. So I got two of those. Let me just run down the prices. The Mirad Clarify Cleanser is twenty eight dollars. The Kat Von D Foundation went down in price, which I'm really glad about. It used to be forty two dollars, I think. Um, and this is my first time buying Kat Von D stuff, but her foundation is now thirty five dollars. The Mirad Age Spot Pigment thing, the um. The treatment thing is $60. The Too Faced Born This Way Chestnut Foundation is $39. Kat Von D Locket Concealer is $26. Um, the Hourglass Vanish Vanishing Foundation in Almond is $46. Um, oh, the Mini Bronze Shimmer Break was actually $25. I thought it was $20. Um, Becca Split Pan, you know, blush and highlighter is $30, $38. And Kat Von D. Uh, Lolita lipstick is 20 and then the Too Faced concealer in deep tan is $28 and yeah whole total was $345 well actually $375 I know don't judge me that's a lot that's a lot of makeup to buy but honestly compared to a lot of people that pretty, pretty much I'm not Sephora Rouge I'm still an insider but I know my day is coming when I'm like it's a good thing and yet a bad thing to become a Sephora Rouge because Jesus, that's a lot of money to spend on makeup, honestly. But I absolutely love makeup, so, you know, what are you to do? Now to talk about Bath & Body Works, yay! Okay, 
back to Body Works, you know, I do my semi-annual sales all the time. But sometimes when I go on my semi-annual sales, I do not find my favorite scent of all life, which is what? Which is, which is what? Marshmallow, pumpkin, a latte. Even though I do love my vanilla, um, warm sugar vanilla, that's year round. That will always be there. I still have a special place in my heart for it. But marshmallow pumpkin latte is number one for me, okay? And they had a $12 candle sale once, and then it's two, buy two, get one free, buy three, get two free. But I did the buy two, get one free because, girl, I did not shop in this weekend. Um, so I got the, it's new packaging as you can tell. It's so pretty because it's like rose gold. Now we have golden pear brown sugar, which captivated my spirit. I got this one for uh, the free one um, to buy two, buy two and get one free. So I picked this one up. The keynote to this one is barlet pear, brown sugar, almond cream, vanilla praline, and toasted hazelnut. Like, that's everything. That's it. That is just everything. Um, then we have marshmallow pumpkin latte, which is pumpkin latte, toasted marshmallow, creamy sandalwood, white ginger, and praline musk. Then I got the body wash which I, I do need to you know stock up on body washes because I'm running out then I got hand sanitizer because you know I'm a nurse and I, I need hand sanitizer in my life so you know I could I could defend my reasoning of buying six <laughs> um, so I got marshmallow pumpkin so it was buy five um, for six dollars so I got five no I got four of the pumpkin latte and then I got pumpkin cupcake which is this one right here. And then I got a dollar holder. Then I got candles. Because what is this video without candles, okay? <laughs> um, this scent is so freaking beautiful, okay? This is, and the packaging. I will never throw you away. <laughs> oh, look how, look at the rose gold, coppery looking top, like, what? Well, sorry, I gotta talk to all the craziness that's going on I'm downstairs. Cause I gotta go. So this is pumpkin pecan waffle, and it smells like the dream. It smells exactly like waffles with um, syrup, and it smells like everything you would want in life. And the packaging is—you sold me. Oh, that smell. So that's marshmallow pumpkin latte. I had to get this. I got two of them. Yeah, so I got two of them just in case I wouldn't be able to get one during the semi-annual sale, so I just got two. The only reason I got this is because I do not like pumpkin spice, but it smells kind of good because that's my favorite thing that I love to eat in here, which is cheesecake. This is pumpkin spice cheesecake, which is amazing. It smells like cheesecake. Oh, it smells like cheesecake. I want to go back to um, Cold Stone because they have a flavor called cheesecake. And I need to have that in my life again. It's so good. Oh, I think they have one. Ooh, I'm gonna go get me some today. No, that's a different place. Yeah, it's a different place. I thought I was going to Barclay Center for the concert. No, I'm not. Because Barclay Center, there's a mall, and then that mall has a Cold Stone Creamery, and I'm not going there. I'm going to Madison Square Garden. <laughs> so that's it for my haul. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be, be, please, be, please, 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 please be sure to thumbs, thumbs up this video, and uh, subscribe if you have not, like, why not? Subscribe, it's free. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching, and comment down below what product you would like to check out, and tell me some products I should check out, you know, help each other here, feed the habit, you know, that's what YouTube's for, you know? <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'll catch you in another video. Bye, you guys.